We all know that the animal kingdom is a messy and often dangerous place. But when we think of fights, we think about lions taking down gazelles or other such situations. On this list, we're going to be covering the 10 times that animals have specifically messed with the wrong opponent. We're starting the list off strong with a situation in which some local rhinos teach a hippopotamus that it's messing with the wrong guys. Now, hippos are known for being some of the largest and meanest animals around. There have been recorded cases where they've taken down lions that have wandered too close to their rivers. In this specific scenario, however, we're looking at a situation in which an unfortunate hippo in the Mala Game Reserve stumbled across a few rhinos and pays the price for its mistake dearly. At number 9, we're looking at a wasp and a tarantula, which might not stand out to some of you, but for those of us with a strong dislike of creepy crawlies, you'll understand that this fight is not something we want to get involved in. Spider-killing wasps are known for stinging their prey, spiders of course, to permanently paralyze it, drag it away, and use it as a host for its egg. The giant tarantula we're looking at is trying pretty damn hard not to let that happen. And me? Well, I'm really just glad to be looking at this fight from a distance. At number 8, we're making a big jump to a fight between a tiger and a crocodile. As you can see, it's the tiger that comes out on top, but not without taking a lot of risks. See, crocodiles are the biggest reptile on Earth. They can grow up to 20 feet and they can weigh up to a ton. I'm not sure what this one did to make the tiger so furious, but I'm sure it's the kind of fight that's going to end up in the record books one day. For fight number seven, we have another tiger fight, this time with a python. The winner is not who you were expecting. Reticulated pythons kill by constriction, and there have been several cases where game cameras have managed to catch reticulated pythons of nearly 20 feet curled up and wrapped around a tiger. It's the kind of fight you expect to see in a movie, but here it is in real life instead. At number 6, you have cougars fighting honey badgers. Now, I know you've all heard the long popular phrase, honey badgers don't give a shit, but it's never been more apparent that they really genuinely don't. Due to their tough skin, it's actually very difficult to kill a honey badger. They can be stung to death, but it's a lot harder to just outright kill them the way a cougar might. Cougars do have size backing up their end, but in this case, that might not be enough. Bringing us to the halfway point, there's the baboon and the lion. You might think this fight is easy to figure out, but the truth of the matter is that baboons can be pretty fierce and pretty mean. They're armed with dangerous teeth that make it really hard for a lion to get close enough to make a killing blow. Because of this, lions rarely go hunting for baboons. They mostly stay out of each other's ways, except in the Great Rift Valley, where baboons are more plentiful than any other prey. This can lead to some pretty gnarly fights between the two animals, many of which have been caught on film by locals and by game cameras. Hot at number 4 are the surprisingly common fights between monkeys and king cobras. The king cobra is the longest species of venomous snake in the world. They can reach lengths of up to 18 feet. And a long king cobra can stand up almost as tall as a person. Monkeys are aware that being close to a snake leads to death, but due to the fact that they share a lot of the same areas, they end up in tussles more often than either species would like. This often results in footage of monkeys using sticks or rocks to try and combat the king cobras that have encroached in their territory. On its own, the king cobra would outmatch the monkey for sure, but once tools have been added into the fray, things get a little less predictable. Monkeys will use sticks to beat at the king cobra from a distance and throw stones at it as a projectile weapon. Often, even if the weapons aren't enough to completely kill the snake, the monkeys have surprisingly good aim and it can be enough of a deterrent for the snake to change its mind and go the other way. For number 3, we're visiting two familiar faces in an unfamiliar space. That's right, it's the often undiscussed fight between bears and wolves. As both share a lot of the same terrain, it shouldn't be surprising to know that they occasionally will get into a skirmish or two. What you might be surprised to hear is that most of the fights involve wolves defending their pups and their dens from bears who are just up from hibernating. They don't fight each other very often, but when it does happen, it's a vicious display of tooth and fang from two highly dangerous predators. Some of these fights have been caught on camera and they most often take place in caves and when pups or cubs are involved. Without the presence of young around, these two predators are mostly content to leave each other be and live in the same habitat together without messes or problems. For number two, we're looking at lions again, only this time it's a face-off between a lion and a buffalo. You might think you've got this fight pegged. Lions are the king of the jungle, right? 
but you would be wrong. Buffaloes are hard to kill and perfectly fine with fighting if it means saving their own hides. The lion is not coming out on top. Buffaloes are social animals and they live in herds of between 50 and 100. That famous scene from the Disney's Lion King isn't too far off from the truth, though it's more likely that a lion would try to separate a buffalo from its herd and face them one-on-one. -on -one. Even in those situations, the buffalo is still hard to take down. Not only are their hides incredibly tough to get through, but between their horns, their muscle power, and the sheer size they have going for them, they still manage to make themselves into a pretty difficult opponent to take down. Lions, surprisingly, are often not successful in their battles against buffalo. Finally, in our last spot, we have pythons going up against alligators. While this might be a common premise for science fiction films in the modern day, it's also a true situation and one that's surprisingly common, especially in places like the Florida Everglades, where invasive pythons are doing massive damage to the local wildlife, including alligator populations. Their fights can sometimes last for up to five hours, and the python is, surprisingly, often victorious. This is actually such an issue that a bounty has been put on the invasive snakes in the region, trying to get their numbers back in control. There are between 10,000 and 100,000 invasive pythons presently loose in the Everglades. So there you have it, 10 times that animals messed with the wrong opponent and the odds that are stacked in each animal's favors. If this is the sort of thing that you're itching to see more of, consider liking the video and subscribing to our channel. We've got plenty more top 10s where this one came from.